going on guys? Welcome back to another pickup episode. Now, I know I missed last week due to the holiday. You know, everyone's a little busy around that time, so I thought I would take a break. So I have some extra things here that we're gonna go through today. I'm also, if you can't tell, a little bit under the weather, but I knew I had to get this video out today so I didn't miss another week. I picked up a couple more Rogue One figures off Amazon that I needed. Um, I never saw these in the store and they were on Amazon for six bucks, prime shipping. So I went ahead and grabbed Jin Urso in her disguise, her ground crew disguise. Pretty cool. And everyone's favorite shore trooper. This figure is great. One of my favorite new troopers to come out. All right, next up, Monsters and Mutants, Monster Hunter Wrath. So I have this whole line now, except for Monster Hunter Leo, which hopefully I can find one day. Maybe, if not, I'll have to buy them off Amazon. I was happy to find Raph and be one step closer. On the back here, it shows all the Monster Turtles and the two Monster Hunters. Fun line, I'm really glad that they decided to revisit the Monster Turtles because those Universal Monster Turtles in the Vintage line are some of my favorites. All right, let's move on here. So I finally found most of Wave 2. Finally, aren't they on like wave four now of these and I'm just now seeing wave two. Um, I found everybody except mankind and So I found everybody except mankind and Kane in this wave. So we got Triple H With the uh, I'm gonna jump up and attack your ass action Pretty cool figure. We got Rocky with the gorilla press. I'm gonna slam your ass action pretty cool figure It looks great. I love the eyebrow on him Rock really fits this style of figure really well, I think. Sting is awesome. I was a little bit surprised when I first saw that Sting was gonna be in wave two already. Um, I figured there might be other ones that they might wanna do first, but I think it's awesome that Sting already got a figure. You know, he's got that same type of action that Triple H has, which is cool. The toughest SOB, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This figure's great. It would have been awesome if he came with the vest, but I know that if he probably had a vest, it would be painted on and you couldn't take it off. The figure looks cool. Um, he's definitely got his two beady little eyes. It's just a cool looking figure. I like the knee brace. So uh, I'm happy with that. Ninja Turtle time. I picked up both of these figures off Instagram. I will link the sellers below because like always, I can't remember. I got Walkabout, which I did not have yet. Uh, he comes with his one crazy huge rifle and he comes with the backpack. And he comes with the boomerang, which is cool. And then he also comes with a little sidekick character. Um, I don't remember his name, so I'm sure there's some of you that know. You can leave me a comment. But uh, it's just another like kangaroo guy holding a bow staff. Complete walkabout. I think I paid 10 bucks. Can't really beat that. The paint looks great. Um, there's not too many paint rubs, and he's just so vibrant and colorful. Uh, this is the reason why I love the vintage team and T line. So it's because of figures like this. Last but not least, what is it? Is it rock and raff or heavy heavy metal raff? Heavy rock and hard rock and raff? I'm not sure. It's uh, Raphael in his rock star outfit here. Um, he comes with his two sides that are drumsticks, his guitar, and he comes with two little records, which are pretty cool. Uh, this figure's in great shape. The paint looks awesome on this guy. It looks like he was just opened up and never played with. And I got him really for a steal. I was surprised I didn't have any of these already. So now I gotta track down and pick up uh, Leo, Don, and Mikey, and hopefully I can find the school bus playset at one of these toy shows coming up because I think that'd make a great display piece to have the school bus open with the four turtles. And even that Mondo Gecko, the one that kind of looks like a hippie that has the skateboard or the scooter that turns into the guitar, I think that would be dope. He threw in a wax pack. You can't go wrong with these. I have a bunch up on top of uh, my display case here. The gum has definitely been broke. It's, sounds like it's powder in there. But uh, these are awesome. I don't really open them. I just like to keep them the way they are. And uh, they make cool display pieces. So yeah. All right, guys. So these are my pickups. We got some vintage turtles, modern turtles, some Rogue One, and some WWE retro line. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.